I've started using Sonar 6. Let me show you how to begin having fun with it right out of the box. I'll begin by creating a new project and when I click that a dialog box pops up where I can give it a name. So I'll type in a name and in this box I can also select where the audio files will be stored. Audio files are kept as WAV files and they're large so you might want to put them on a separate data drive. We'd also select here what template we want to use and I'll select normal. So this is the first screen I saw when I opened it up and right off the bat it's got two windows. The main one is maximized but this inner one isn't so I need to maximize that in order to see all the properties. Well I was anxious to get right at it so the first thing I did is I widened the track and thought oh no where's all the parameters? There's certain things here I need to see. Well they probably had a good idea here with these separate ways of looking at things with mix and custom and all but what I wanted was all so I hit all and there's my parameters. Now I needed to see these because on an audio track this is where you would set your input. I could select left, right or stereo. My microphone's plugged into the left so I select that and that track is now ready for me to arm and record. I'll minimize that track and I'm going to delete the second audio track for now. I'm going to clone the good one after. Now let's look at a MIDI track and this is where you'll set for your particular sound card input and output depending on what you're using. And I'll slide that up and delete this other MIDI track. Now that I have one MIDI track the way I want it, I can go ahead and clone that. I'd like to have 16 MIDI tracks, and I can set that in this box. Whenever you're working with numbers, you can left click to go one at a time, or right click to go 10 at a time. Now I'm going to clone that audio track too. I'd like to have 8 audio tracks. If I want more tracks later in a project, I can always add another MIDI track or audio track, whatever I like. And then I'd like to set all 16 MIDI tracks to be output to the 16 MIDI channels. So I'll set the first MIDI track on channel 1 and set the second track on channel 2 and so on. Then I'll get it set up just the way I like it. Now I want to show you how to save that as a template file. Click on File and select Save As. And in the dialog box that opens just below where you type the name it lists the type of file you'll be saving. Instead of normal, we'll select template from the list. Then up above here, navigate to C, Cakewalk Projects. And in there, click on Cakewalk Data, and then click on Sonar Sample Content. This is where they keep all the templates. By saving your template here, it will show up in the templates list when you first open the program. I'm going to choose the name normal and overwrite the file that's already there. So when I start a new project and select the normal template, It'll be all set up just the way I like it. So now let's begin having some fun. I'll open up the synth rack and add in a software synthesizer or soft synth. There are a few that are included in the program. I'll select the TTS1. I don't need to see the synth so I won't show the properties page because I can control it from each individual MIDI track. So now I can go to the parameters of track 1 and change the output to be played on TTS1. Track 1 is already on channel 1 so now I can select a sound from the drop-down list. I'll select a piano, and when I hit my piano keys now, we'll hear the piano. Now if I right-click on the patch, I get the list in a different form. And selecting a different sound gives me a different sound on my keyboard. Now with the TTS loaded, we can get at it from other tracks too. You don't have to load it again. It has 16 channels. This track on channel 5 can also be routed to the TTS-1 where we can select a different patch. Let's see what the fingered bass sounds like. Then finally you can double click in the track name and give it a title. Now as I select each track my keyboard will play that sound. Now let me show you quickly how to record audio. I already set up my audio tracks to accept my mic on the left channel. I could unplug my microphone and plug my guitar right in there and record that the same way. You arm a track by clicking the R and it turns red. Check. Check. One, two, three. Now I can see I have a good level. It's lighting up good on the meters. With that track armed, we can press record and begin recording. Testing one, two, three. Checking out Sonar 6. 
Now sonar draws in the waveform, and I'll play that back. Testing one, two, three. Checking out sonar six.